So if you run an online business, or any business in general, your website has one job to do. You have to get people connected and impressed and enamored with what you have to offer in a matter of seconds. And so your first impression matters. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go through a whole list of some of our students in our education group, and I am basically going to randomly pick some of them to highlight their site and basically say, this is my first impression, like the first 10 to 15 seconds. The goal of this is to let people see what the rest of the world is seeing and how they could potentially be reacting to their site. And hopefully by looking at other people's sites, this will help you determine what needs to change on your website as well. Last night I asked for a few people who, you know, maybe wanted their website reviewed and I have 140 comments with people who want. So we're, we're going to just scroll through really quick. I'm going to close my eyes and stop on Carissa. Let's see. Carissa Dina photography. All right. My first impression landed your logo is so small, I can barely read it. And there's a lot of text at the very top. And I know why you're doing this because it's keywords, but there's a lot going on up there. I don't know where to look first. Love this. This is impressive. I would, I like, I like that. Um, love that I can see your face. That's good. I feel like, okay, I'm connected to somebody. These are distracting. We should make them gray. Write in testimonials. That's smart. And check out portfolio. I think we get, just, there's some styling things that could probably happen down here, or maybe it's not loading. I think there's some design things that are missing here, but overall, when I load it, I think there's some simplification that could happen at the very top. We could get rid of this whole line here, like this whole section. You'll get the same impact with SEO if that's on a different part of the page. So let's have it start with this because that's the most impressive thing. Here we go. Close my eyes. Uh, photography by Rachel Lynn. She'd love a critique. She says, this is good. Okay. First impression, uh, family photographer, I guess somewhere near the beach. Again, logo is so small. I can barely see the Rachel Lynn. All I see is photography and a very kind of elusive swoop, which is very pretty, but we're losing her name. I, I honestly would change the name, but that's a whole nother conversation. I love the, these images are impressive and they're beautiful. And I think they're curated really well. So if I was in the area, wherever she is on vacation, I would get rid of this picture. It doesn't match the the style or quality of the, the rest. Um, I would also move this somewhere else because the cut, it looks actually dark and a little lifeless compared to some of these. These are really impressive. So, um, okay. That's great. The, the logo, this is a big, like, gosh, I can't even really see her name love this. I would make it a little tighter, more of her face because we like Rachel. We want to see more of Rachel. Um, uh, this seems a little out of place. I think it's very small. Let's be friends, Facebook, Instagram. This is more like a footer type of design. I think it should go immediately from meet your photographer to here. Um, and then honestly, this needs to just go. I think it's very distracting. It almost makes me think that your website's broken, but I don't think it is. I think it just needs to be moved around. Um, overall quick impression is that it's the work speaks for itself, which is great because it kind of distracts me from the, maybe the imp some imperfections in the website, but her logo, we got to figure out a way to make it bigger. And I really, I know it's photography by Rachel Lynn, but I think photography actually needs to be smaller. And Rachel Lynn, I would just make it Rachel Lynn. You don't even need to say photography. It's obvious what you do, but your, her name needs to be much bigger because her, that is her brand. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'd love a beach family photo like this, <laughs> except I don't go to the beach. I mean, why would I go to the beach? Just fry. So first impression it's would a normal person say, Oh, the logo's too small. No, but I'm saying that from perspective of like, if I was comparing a bunch of different people and I'm not sold on your brand and who you are, I don't even know if I would go back to this and be able to quickly find whose site is this again. It's so hard to see Rachel Lynn. It's so tiny. So, um, anyway, I do love these images. Okay. Let's go back. Let's do another one. Stop. Elizabeth Sherwood Libby's Mm, hold on. Libby Slynn photography. Let's see. She's in a revision process now. Okay. First impression is, um, 
we got a lot of yellow. Um, we, we got a lot of yellow. And I think honestly, the flow, there are some consistent color tones as far as like, I think it would be fine if we just toned it down a little bit. See his skin tone here and her skin tone here. That's the first thing I notice is how inconsistent that is. And the orangeness here, that's a very easy fix in editing and you don't have to lose your vibrancy, but you control, you can control your skin tone, which is ideal for charging more for portraits to be able to have consistent skin tones. So that is, but again, that's something that's an easy fix. It's not even a web design thing. Okay. Let me keep going. Love that. I can see your face. Um, I love the galleries here. And then you have some connection there. Um, yeah. The first, my first impression is, and this is actually really important. We have to be super vigilant of whatever someone lands on, that the consistency is key if you're going to have vertical pairings in a hero image section, because it's so easy to compare. So it's actually, it's harder on you as a photographer and your consistency and your editing to pair things together like this, because you're letting people see inconsistencies so easily. So that's, that's probably like the biggest takeaway, first impression. Overall, Libby, it's a great website. The skin tone thing is literally take a brush. If you have the KJ light nuzzle brush, that would do the trick. But I think we want to aim to match this girl because it's still vibrant and it's still golden and warm, but it's not this warm and it's not this like yellow, greeny, orange. It let's try to build off of her skin tone right here. Okay. Let's do another one. One, two, three, go. Stop. Sarah Lindholm. Photo. Okay. Um, perfect. Beautiful. Love your first image. Your first image is very impressive. It's got good pop and good glow and good composition and a beautiful venue. That's a gorgeous venue. And you have details on either side, which is so smart because it allows you to focus on just the couple. So, oh man, these venues. Wow. Love that. Their pajamas are pretty bright, but honestly, you know what? I would, I would maybe make this black and white. That's a quick first impression because everything you have up in that point, look at the color tones here, pastel, light and airy, bam, really bold blue aqua. But the emotion is the reason you chose this photo. I'm assuming it's not like the light is astronomically like amazing. So make it black and white and then you actually have more impact for the reason you chose that photo to begin with. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. So pretty. Well done, Sarah. Love that. You deserve to love your photos. Perfect picture of you. That's great. I love this. I think this is great. Honestly, this is such a good illustrate, a good example of how this, this hero image, if you're going to have a sliding hero image of images, it has got to be the best of the best. It has got to capture people and you have to hide inconsistencies in order to sell them. Okay. Let's do one more, one more. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm at the very end. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Uh, Aaron Worthington. Okay. Well, that's her Facebook name, but the business is Aaron Bancroft photography. Love this first image. You know what my first thought is? This is such a good image. I wish it was bigger because it's almost annoying to me. These people over here are distracting from them. Imagine if this was the full hero image and then you go into multiple verticals. The other reason why it kills me a little bit is because I seriously love this. I I wish that this was my image. I mean, I love the composition, the emotion, the light, the skin tone, but look at the skin tones here and look at that. She might have like the gray blonde hair, but I think, look at his face. See how gray that looks. These two are perfect. Like that is the epitome of like, you want to look like $5,000 photographer, land on this image and don't distract from it. Let people like take that in. This image right here is devalu devaluing your entire hero image because look, even her skin tone and his skin tone are comparable to theirs. These people are very, very, very blue and washed out and gray. And these people go back to warm, but it's still a different edit than here slightly. These are just consistency things. So, um, I would take this image off because mom, it's not the strongest photo of mom. Honestly, I would take all these off. 
and I would just have three or four killer full width epic portrait shots of like this is just so good and and because it's not because there's other things surrounding it it detracts from how impressive that is so it's okay that you're not showing everything you offer on the hero. We just want to capture them to keep them scrolling. You can show all this stuff later on. Love that it's you. Love seeing your face. Love the testimonials. Um, I think here again, we just need to find, we just need to make sure we're consistent with just the editing style of all of these because there's just a little bit of inconsistency there that I think it's, it's also just the pictures. You have a, Sunset dock picture with water and sky. That's going to be a hard picture to pair next to an overcast portrait and then kind of a hazy but kind of blue gray tone portrait of families here. And then this is super warm. So that's just something to help your credibility. If you honestly, if you started with, this is way more than 15 seconds, sorry. Um, if this image was full length, side to side, took up this whole area, um, I, I would also get rid of click to find, find more. I would get, I would, you want people to scroll. So click to find more, I guess is going to contact. I, I, I know it's a call to action, but I would wait just at least below the about me. We just want to capture people when they land. Like, not capture them like with a click, capture them with like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This image has that quality about it and you need two other images like that, but then get rid of all these other ones. All right, so there it is, first impressions. It was supposed to be 15 seconds, it was more like three minutes, sorry. But I hope that you got the general idea of what works and what doesn't. Uh, less is more and a lot of more is not more. There's a lot of things about websites that um, it is about what you show, but I would say even more importantly, it's more about what you choose not to show. Some of the, I think a reoccurring theme was like, hey, get rid of this. You'll look more expensive if you get rid of this. And you just need someone else with an outside opinion that's not connected to these people, not connected to the image to just tell you, hey, ooh, that's devaluing this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. There's a lot of text here, let's simplify. So simplify, elevate, it's hard to do that when you're so used to looking at your own site. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to do this again. Thank every, all the 140 of you that commented like within the last 12 hours <laughs> and gave your link. I will do this again if we find out that it's helpful. So leave a comment below if you want to see me do this again because it was helpful for you in your own website decisions. Let me know and I'll plan it into the content schedule and we'll make it happen. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.